All right, so let me get a little bit over here by the light, just a little tiny bit, because it's getting a little bit dark, and I'm looking extra uh, dry and crispy, or whatever you want to call it. But anywho, I am getting ready to do a review on um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm doing the um, uh, the the season eight reunion part one, and it's a. Mm, Three, it's a, I think it's a two or three part um, reunion or whatever, but I wanted to give my take on it as I'm kind of watching it a little bit. I can't show y'all what I'm watching because I need my quaint and I don't want YouTube um, to uh, be like, you can't get no change. So, um, to start off, um, I didn't watch everything from season eight, but I watched a little bit. I was glad to see Nene and Sheree back. I was real happy to see them. So, um, so yeah, the review was starting right now. Um, they're at the Georgia Ballroom. Everybody look beautiful. Kenya Moorhor, as they call her. <laughs> She's like a, you get me? Oh, I know, I'm all kinds of Keyonce. Like, girl, bye, Felicia. Nobody got time to hear you talking about you look like Beyonce, Keyonce, and none of that bullshit. Anyway, I'm not here for Kenya, to be honest. The reason why I'm not here for her is because I liked her before she even got on the show, before she started saying anything. It was like she was beautiful to look at. She would wave and do her Miss America thing, and that was fine for me. But when she started getting on the show, I was just like, no. But um, everybody is beat. I like everybody's makeup. Candy stood up and she was snatched. I even liked her dress. Some people didn't like her dress, but that dress was fitting that ass and them hips. Her hair was cute to me. That's because I don't trip off of if, if people's hair is synthetic or if it's real or if it's Indian or whatever. I don't trip off of that. I will give her props. She did look cute. Um, Phaedra looked very cute with her rose-colored dress with the little leaves and stuff on her dress. She was giving me all kind of Easter Sunday mom at church. Um, Kim Fields, I love a thick woman. That blonde hair was together, honey. Because um, her during the season, that hair was not together in my in my eyes, but her hair looked cute. It was colored cute. That I mean, them edges was on fleek. She looked cute. Um, so they just showing how you know, you know, a little shady bunch. How it's all in with Nene and everybody, and um, they basically was talking about uh, just being just you know, being shady or whatever. Everybody had their own little piece of shade this this season. And that was funny when, it was hella funny when, um, Phaedra called her oatmeal pie face. I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. And then, um, whatchamacallit, um, what's her name? Um, Portia. She was being shady about her product. Now, this is where I will give Kenya more her props. She's a great business businesswoman. I love her um, her hair care line from what I see of it and what I've heard about it. So, yeah. And now I'm watching how they was making fun of um, Kenya, doing a little twirl and all that stuff. And um, this one, this review is not going to be too long because I've watched it like six times. Just so I would be okay but what I do not, what I do not like is how Kenya Moore is now playing the victim. How people, you know, pick on her and all that stuff or whatever. And she was shady. She can hold her own. She's a grown-ass lady. So, um, I thought it was funny how, um, how everybody you know, threw their little shade, and when it came down to, um, Tootie, I just call her Tootie, but you know who I'm talking about, so I be forgetting people's names like crazy, but when I think about her, do I think she should have been on the show? 
Um, yeah, she gave a little bit of, you know, a little bit of different, something different to the cast, and I thought she was good on there. Um, she held her own, and it was funny how, um, how she just, how Kenya Moore just keeps talking about how she doesn't want people coming for her, coming for her. Bitch, you come at everybody, damn. People talk about everybody's skin complexion. People probably gonna say this video was too dark. Bitch, please, okay? You're a pretty girl, but none of that beauty helped you get not nowhere. You ain't got no real man. And the nigga that she fuck with now is a little simp or whatever. He ain't nobody to run home and cry to. He seemed like he's like real, real slow. Like he need to be on the yellow bus or something. No shade to children who have to be on the yellow bus, but I'm just saying he's acting really slow. Um, he did act slow. And then, um, to fast forward everything on this review to give my opinion, I actually liked season eight. Um, I think it's time to just, I think it's time. I, I give it like one more, two, a couple more seasons to make it a 10 year thing. And then after that, I think everybody should just hang up their peaches. Cause we didn't heard everybody's story. We pretty much know what's going on in everybody's lives. Um, I was very happy for Candy having her baby. Um, I could see if, uh, what's her face? Um, Kenya have a baby and get married. If she really do get married, I would like to see how it plays out with um, Cynthia and her man. If they still end up being together, and if they not gonna be together, if they gonna divorce. How much is he gonna try to get from her? Cause honey, you know that she gonna try it. Um, as far as um. Candy having her baby. She has a beautiful son. Um, I've checked out his Instagram. He has an Instagram, y'all. Ace Wells Tucker. He is so adorable. Like, hella cute. And I just, I give it to Candy. Candy has done everything. She got her businesses together. She's still producing music. She's doing her thing. And she got the man. I don't give a fuck what they say about her, you know, if her man is doing this, that, and the third to her behind her back. Man, let her find out on her own. Motherfucker, stay up out of her business. Let her find out. If he's cheating, it's going to come to the light anyhow. So people just keep coming for her and her relationship. Now she have a baby. I think it's just a bunch of bitter old bitches, a bunch of bitter bras who don't have their own man, their own child, their own life together, and they're just mad coming at people. They're just trolls. So, Candy, don't worry about them, boo. If you ever get a chance to watch my video, I hope you do. I love you so much. And um, I, I think your family is beautiful. You have that right amount of drama. And I love you because you stand up for what you believe in. And you go in and you don't take no shorts or no bullshit. Remember that y'all from the 90s? Take no shorts. <laughs> but yeah. Um, anyhow, they are a very nice looking couple. I got to give it to them. They really, Candy and her man looks good together. It's like this. She don't outshine him. He don't outshine her. They just look good together. And I appreciate that. And I know he be all in between them big old titties and that big old bouncing booty going boom, 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 boom. Let me quit. Let me quit. Let me quit. I got to fan myself, honey. Yes. Got to fan it. Um... As far as people saying that Todd needed to stay there, if it was while her while she was doing stuff with her baby at the doctor's office, everybody deserves a coin. Everybody got to handle their business. So, um, sitting up there, um, Kenya need to shut the fuck up about her relationship. Uh, get your money. He had to go answer the phone real quick. He was gonna come right back. You dumb bitch. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm only talking shit because I probably won't meet this lady and she probably won't even watch my fucking video. I don't, I mean, she does. I use, I don't hate you at all, but I just don't like what you stand for at times. And I'm not going to backtrack because you may or may not watch my video. I'm going to keep it real. I don't like your attitude on this reunion. You probably think you're doing something right. I don't think you are. 
And that's just how I feel. There's no hate or anything. You're a beautiful girl. I give all women compliments, and I don't shade nobody because of their bodies, but it's just your attitude, lady. I'm just saying. Um, I just saw Todd drinking um, Candy's breast milk. <laughs> that's hella cute. Um, let me just go on and fast forward. And this video was already at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, it was funny how um, Kim Field stopped her from, uh, stopped Kenya from over talking her like she did, like she would do her kid. You know how a mama, you know how a mama be in church and you talking and you like right next to her and she, and she talking to your little friend and she like say something else. That's how she did it. I was like, damn, yes, 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 come through, Kim Fields. Give us that mama tea at church, okay? Yes. So, um, it really wasn't too much. Um, they didn't really talk too much to Sheree. Um, Sheree does look good. We were glad that she's back. I love her hair. love the dress. I just think everyone looked good. Everybody slayed in their own way. Um, hopefully, um, the next part of the reunion gives me a little bit more life and, and puts a little bit more life in this video, but, um, pretty much, um, everybody just sitting there talking and whatever, and there's nothing too much, y'all, so, just wanted to give y'all a quick little, my quick little opinion on Kenya as and the in the reunion and i want you guys to continue watching me i'm gonna be doing more things y'all i promise i will be on a lot more i will try to i'm not gonna say i will be on here every day but when i do come i'm gonna just drive them out like boom 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 y'all gonna have more than one video boom 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 i don't give a fuck if it's five minutes i don't care if it's two minutes y'all gonna have something from me so Happy Easter, y'all, and I love you guys so much. If there's any holes that I'm missing, because I didn't want to just, I didn't really want to get into too much, because there ain't really nothing to too much get into, but if you guys, if there's any holes in my stories, I'm actually watching it for like the seventh time. Um... Y'all want to um, put something down in the description. I'm not description, but in the um, comment box, let me know what I'm missing or what y'all thought about the um, what y'all thought about the show. Let me know. Okay, peace.